Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Saren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at how people will view you in the future. So this doesn't necessarily mean this is the person you are going to be in the future, but just people's perception of you. Okay, so we have three piles to choose from. In the first pile, we have this green tarot deck with a depiction of beautiful flowers around it. So the first pile, pile number one, we have the crystal Laramar with the Muse tarot. In the second pile, we have this white tarot deck with this depiction of green leaves and uh, purple circles. I don't know what you'd exactly call that. So for pile two, we have the shell with the ethereal visions tarot and then for pile three we have this depiction of this blue tarot deck with kind of like these circles and moons on them okay so for pile three we have red jasper and the tarot of the divine so i'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most. And that will be your pile for today. But of course, if you're drawn to more than one pile, always trust your intuition because your intuition will lead you to the messages that are meant for you to receive. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose the Laramar crystal with the Muse Tarot, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how people will view you in the future. Keep in mind this is how people are viewing you in the future, not necessarily who you are in the future, okay? Please also keep in mind that the way people view us in the future, we can't necessarily control the way people view us. So yeah, just take all these messages with a grain of salt. So the first card you have is Desert Jasper, Resolve and Vesta in the reverse. For your oracle card, the second oracle card you have says Smoky Amazonite, Regular Star and Abundance. And then for your tarot cards, which I've pre-shuffled and already organized, we have the Magician, clarified by the Justice card, which we see 111 there, so quite interesting. And then we have the Three of Materials, Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Materials, Ten of Pentacles. And then on top of that, we have the Muse of Materials, which is the King of Pentacles. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Inspiration, which is the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Voices, which is the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Three of Emotions, which is the Three of Cups, clarified by the Nine of Emotions, which is the Nine of Cups. And on top of that, we have the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Sun card, opposite that, the Awakening, and that is the Judgment card. And then we have the Page of Inspiration, which is the Page of Wands, clarified by the Six of Voices, which is the Six of Swords. And then we have an extra card for you with the Queen of Inspiration, which is the Queen of Wands. So I heard the word decluttering. Uh, how you will be seen in the future is to be someone completely decluttered. Either in your home, you know, your home is decluttered, your home is neat, tidy, clean, um... I'm not necessarily getting so much like spotless clean because I'll explain why in a moment, but more so cozy and livable and the environment in the way that people perceive it is bringing you a sense of peace, is bringing your mind a sense of relaxation and um, focus in order for you to focus on everything you need to do like tasks in the home um, if you work from home etc etc but nevertheless there's something about your home being in order organized but it's not so much in a state of perfectionism 
or spotless clean or tidy it still lived in it's still cozy but then at the same time it, it gives off this vibe of peace there's no clutter um, maybe even decluttering can be your mind your mind seems a lot more clear to people in the future where you're not as stressed about the little details or the little um almost like I want to say unimportant things because sometimes we humans stress about things whereas later on we realize we stress about it so much but it's it's a distraction in our daily life you know so I see people looking at you as if you are much more focused in the future as if there's nothing plaguing your mind with distractions worries anxiety overthinking fear I don't see that. I'm almost seeing like a soap bar clairvoyantly and your mind has been cleared like um, maybe even with the resolve card showing up in reverse. You're not necessarily trying to resolve or fix things from the past or um, resolve things in the sense of making things too perfect because we can never reach a state of perfection. So with the Ten of Swords... I intuitively get this idea of you letting go of the of the need for perfectionism or at least this is how people are viewing you if you're not a person that has perfectionism um, or for things to be done in a way that is so so extravagant or so I don't I don't know what word to use but I hope you understand what I mean even if you don't um, deal with things of like things needing to be perfect maybe you're just a lot less stressed about details and you know more focused on the bigger picture more focused on showing up rather than having everything be I don't know what word to use other than perfect but I hope you get what I mean even if you don't have that yeah there's something about you letting go of also the need to to be seen a certain way by others. So with the Queen of Wands, I definitely pick up on you stepping into this confidence within where you're not necessarily trying to control outcomes. You're not necessarily trying to control the way people perceive you or what people think of you. You're not necessarily trying to control how things look on the outside. It's kind of like you found this internal peace with expressing yourself to the world without a filter without um, the need to almost show up in this more organized way. I hope that makes sense. Like Spirit is showing me an example of how like maybe we go on social media and we have a filter on, but now we're going without a filter. It doesn't necessarily have to relate to the physical or social media, but this is just an example of the energy. So you're more comfortable with making mistakes. You're more comfortable with being quote unquote messy. You're more comfortable with the idea of failure because failure only teaches us something more. You know, failure is not necessarily the end. It just teaches us something. It teaches us to pick ourselves back up, dust ourselves off and learn something from it, look at things from a different perspective. So I hope this is making sense, but I'm seeing a theme of this, okay? And I, I know that sounds contradictory to what I mentioned in the beginning of clean, decluttered, organized, but it's like, it's not so organized your home and your outside appearance that you're stressing about it. It's more so doing it as a means of self-care, as a means of okay, if my environment is clean and not cluttered, then I'm going to have a clear mind. It's almost like that. Or if I am clean, neat, tidy, even if for my women, I don't have a full face of makeup on, or even if I'm not the best dressed, as long as I feel good in my outfit and I'm neat and tidy and I feel good. Even if a hair is out of place, it's okay. Like, I see you kind of being free in that sense. Free in... 
<laughs> I hope this makes sense. Okay, I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm seeing these things clairvoyantly. Okay, and you're not necessarily trying to resolve things from the past or fix things from the past or even sometimes like... Okay, I'm seeing a specific message for some, like if you were on a healing journey or a journey of self-discovery, internal digging, you know, healing things from the past, I see you completely letting go of the past where maybe you're not completely healed, but I don't think anyone can completely be healed. Of course, when emotions come up, you're going to work through it and heal from it, but I don't necessarily see you or people don't necessarily see you trying to quote unquote fix yourself. And I don't think you saw yourself as a project to fix. I don't think that at all. But let me just say sometimes, sometimes we're like almost like trying to resolve something from the past or trying to heal something from the past. But we can never fully be healed. I know this sounds contradictory to what a lot of spiritual spiritual people say that we should heal and then we should do this and I think that's really important to do that but I think you've come to a place into into the future or at least this is other per people's perception of you where you don't need to focus on the healing journey anymore you've you've let go of it you're over it you're ready for the new chapter with the magician that's what i get there you're ready for the new chapter you're done thinking about the past you're done dwelling in the past you're ready to move forward completely let it go and move towards the future now it's not necessarily saying that if you have triggers come up you're not going to deal with it and work through it but this is what i'm talking about you're letting go of it and you're being present in the moment being present in what you can create right now. And that's how I see people viewing you in the future. I also see people viewing you in the future where you are completely comfortable with being your true self in the world, with speaking your truth in the world. And I see you almost, or I see people almost viewing you in the sense of, if you are your true self, those that are around you and love you for you are going to stick around and are going to want you to be yourself, want you to express yourself the way you want and not try to change you. They're going to accept you as you are because that is love. That is true love. So I see people looking at you and having you having like authentic relationships, relationships that are real, that are true around you with the three of cups you know, the types of friendships you've wished for, the types of love you wish for, because we have divine love at the back of the oracle deck. So maybe even romantic love, like, or whatever types of love, even familial love, because we have the ten of pentacles here. And these are stable connections that are lasting a very long time, that are, you know, those types of relationships that stick with you for the long run that don't leave, that have loyalty, that are full of honesty, you know, care for each other. So I see people viewing you like that, like you have really happy relationships around you. And your relationships are exactly what you've wished for, exactly what you've hoped for, you know. Okay, it started raining now outside and I heard accepting all seasons of life. So I think that's significant here, like if you're having a bad day in the future, you're not necessarily trying to force yourself to be okay. You're allowing of yourself to have a bad day or to feel not okay, but then the next day you, you are okay again. Do you get what I mean? So you're accepting of all seasons of life and you're fully okay with being yourself and not necessarily judging yourself or playing it small or um, watering yourself down to be liked by others. I feel strongly here you also stepping into your truth in the sense of speaking your truth with the Queen of Swords and Justice, having strong boundaries. This is how people are going to see you in the future where you have these strong boundaries up 
No one's going to cross these boundaries. No one's going to disrespect you because you're ready to walk away from any conversation where a person's treating you badly, disrespecting you, behaving in a way that is unacceptable to you. And you know your worth. This is how people are viewing you in the future. But it's also like you have this angelic kind of energy where people are viewing you as an angel in the future, someone so sweet, someone so in touch with your heart that those that truly get to be around you in your circle are very lucky to even experience those types of relationships with you that I see people seeing that you know your worth and I see them respecting your boundaries, I see them respecting you. I see people viewing you in the future as someone very successful, someone very abundant, because I mean we have regular star here with abundance, we have the muse of materials which is the king of pentacles, we have the ten of pentacles, we have the nine of cups, we have the sun, we have the queen of wands. So it's like you're truly in this place of power, in this place of success but I think in the future people are going to see you like where you've come to a place where you're not necessarily chasing after that sex success um okay I lost my wording now you're not necessarily chasing after that success and therefore it comes to you quickly so I see you kind of like letting go of the need to chase or to have things in the moment, or at least this is people's perception of you if you've never dealt with that. Um, but you're completely comfortable with where you are at in the future. And then when you're at that state where you accept where you're at, I see things changing for you where you get all your wishes and all your desires very quickly. And I'm not just saying this. I mean, we have the Nine of Cups, which is all about wish fulfillment. You receiving your dreams, your wishes. We even have a genie lamp here. So it's going to be so big, so crazy that it's almost like, have you wished on a genie lamp? How did you get those things? That's how people are going to be viewing you. And I mean, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which can relate to financial abundance, material wealth, you know, having a strong foundation within our life where we have financial freedom, where we have stability, where things are going well in the physical. We have, you know, maybe a nice home, a nice car, we have that stability here and abundance here. And you're showing up as the king of pentacles, the muse of materials. So you're going to be so abundant in the physical that you're literally going to be that blueprint, that inspiration to others. Like Spirit is clairvoyantly showing me those people where, okay, let's say they post something on Instagram and other people are using them as motivation to create their own money to create their own wealth where it's like let's say they post something in their car or in their suit or whatever it's like other people are looking at that and using that as inspiration it's not necessarily saying that you're going to post things like that but what I am saying is you're going to be that one person where others look up to you where others sort of use you as their inspiration to getting their desires look at you as a muse Okay, regular star is Leo energy as well. And we have the sun, we have the queen of wands. So I think people are going to see you as completely confident within yourself in the future. But it's this inner confidence where you don't care about what others think. You're completely happy with yourself, who you are, your life, your friendships. Um, I even see this kind of like realness coming from you where... You don't have to try to pretend to be something you're not. You're fully yourself in the world and you're fully accepting of yourself. You're happy. You're sharing love with others, you know, being completely real and vulnerable. And I see people viewing you like that. Okay, I see people viewing you as a very happy person, as someone that has clarity on what it is they want, someone that truly appreciates and has gratitude for where you are, you know, in the future, well, they'll say today, but in the future. <laughs> okay, and with awakening here, it's like you, you feel this deep 
connection to God, the universe, to spirituality. I think a lot of things has changed with the Six of Swords. There's a lot of changes and transitions in your life, at least in the way people perceive you. I also see people perceiving you as very ambitious, but also not necessarily, um, not necessarily like needing the outcome to be a certain way. Like kind of trust or, trusting, why am I slipping over my words? Trusting and surrendering to the divine. Even me slipping over my words just shows that there's no need for perfection. Like if we make mistakes, it's okay, we're human. So I see you kind of like treating yourself that way, or at least that's how people are perceiving you in the future. So this is where I'm going to leave your reading pile number one. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pile number twos. If you chose the shell and the ethereal visions tarot, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how people will view you in the future. Keep in mind, this doesn't necessarily mean this is who you are going to be or this is how your life is going to be in the future. This is just people's perception of you, okay? And what I want to say for your pile especially is the future is not set in stone. Uh, if you hear something you don't like, Keep in mind that this is people's perception. It doesn't necessarily mean it's true for your future. You always have the power to change it. You always have the power to choose a different outcome for yourself. And what I'm saying might sound a little bit strange, but, you know, we are co-creating with the universe. Although we may not be able to fully control an outcome happening in the future, we can use this as guidance instead of end all be all, okay? <laughs> so that's kind of the disclaimer I wanted to say, especially for your pile, because I do see a little bit of heavy things for you in terms of the way people are viewing you, so I'll just give you that warning ahead of time. Okay, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Take everything I say with a grain of salt because this is people's perception of you. So I've already pre-shuffled your cards. As you can see, we have two oracle cards for you. We have Dread, uh, Red Jasper with Etamon Star and Conviction. We have Tangerine Quartz with Solar Plexus Chakra and Shakti. And when I said Etamon Star, I saw an image of a dragon, which I do think that... Um, star kind of relates to draconis energy if I'm not mistaken so quite interesting something about dragons is coming through in your pile people almost seeing you like a dragon um very powerful in some way so we'll get back to that in a moment we have the four of swords the well the eight of swords the king of pentacles the three of cups the queen of swords the five of cups the star temperance the fool the four of wands and the sun okay so i heard the song happier than ever by billy eilish as soon as i tapped into your energy and it was raining and then i kind of like took a little bit of a five minute break and then I came back and it stopped raining. So I think that's significant to your reading and I heard the word healing very strongly, okay? So there's something about healing, there's something about uh, a release happening in the future or at least this is the way people are perceiving it, perceiving you, perceiving your life. Okay, so I kind of see a storyline here in which people are looking at your life. With happier than ever, she talks about being away from a person. Now she's happier than ever. You know, I, I think you are releasing either the idea of someone, if you've already released them now in your life, and if you're already healing from them, or this could be a relationship you are releasing in the future. Because this person no longer... I don't want to say makes you happy because a person can't make us happy. We find happiness within ourselves, but this person is no longer adding to your life. They're 
kind of keeping you stuck in the future or the idea of them if you are already healing from said person, if you've already released said person, maybe holding on to them, holding on to like anger, resentment, um, certain emotions like grief, sadness, disappointment, whatever emotion it is, it could be the fact of holding on to it so much um, keeps us stuck or the fact of this person actually physically keeps us stuck within our life and is no longer adding to our journey anymore is no longer is no longer a balanced healthy or you know harmonic relationship anymore it's holding us back now and it's keeping us stuck and we need to release it. So either releasing this person from the past, like if you've already released them now in your life, like releasing the idea of them, releasing any emotions attached to them, or it's releasing a person in the future that's no longer for you. And this doesn't necessarily mean that this person, that you should let them go now, because, you know, this could happen, this could not happen. I'm just reading how people perceive you in the future, okay, and this is what's coming up. And, you know, things can change. The outcome can change. It doesn't always mean it's going to stay the same. So don't let this message scare you. Don't let this message um, make you feel sad in any way because we don't possibly know what's going to happen in the future even though a reading says so, okay? So that's what I want to say. Um, pile two. Okay, I see you looking deeply within this feeling of stuckness, or like this is how people are viewing you. You're looking deeply within this feeling of stuckness, like why am I feeling so stuck? Why do I not feel happy? Why do I feel so sad? Why do I feel so disappointed? Why do I feel so angry? Um, why do I feel so sick and tired, I hear, of being treated this way, of going through this? I just got a notification on my phone from the I Am app. And whenever I receive notifications like this during a reading, I take it as a sign it's for the person I'm reading for or for the group of people I'm reading for. So it says, I am grateful for opportunities to grow regardless of what they look like. So maybe this looks so terrible right now. Something about this moment in the future is going to be an opportunity to grow regardless of what it looks like to you now. And, you know, in the future, you may have clarity on this situation where as now, it may seem a little bit hazy because we're not there yet. So, so yeah. How do I give this message? Okay. Yeah, you're feeling stuck. You're wanting to get out of the stuckness. You're wanting to find clarity. You're wanting the sun to rise again after the rain has been in your life for so long. You're not feeling that happy. You're not feeling that great. Or at least this is people's perception of you. So you start to, you know, really speak to yourself and do some internal digging. Really go down the rabbit hole of your feelings, of your mind, of what's happening here, okay? And being honest with ourselves. Trusting ourselves that we will find clarity, that we will find the answer. And then I see you finding it within your heart, and I see you making a decision here. A decision to release a person, release the past, release emotions um, connected to a person. Take it as it resonates. And I see you releasing this person from your heart. I see you saying, you know, you no longer have power over me. You will no longer allow me to or make me feel a certain way anymore because I have total control over my feelings and over my environment and over what's happening in my heart space, what's happening around me. And I see you or I see people looking at you in a very empathetic way where they're having a lot of empathy towards you in the situation and I feel with conviction here you know, other people may even be angry for you, like, 
So for example, if this is a person that's already in your past, you've already released them, maybe it takes some time for you to heal from this. And then in the future, you're like, you know, healing from this, um, holding on to these emotions from these from this past is only keeping me stuck. I need to move forward now. And like even people around you are angry at this person because they treated you so badly that like, of course, you'd still feel that way. But then I see you getting to a point where you're honest with yourself and you're like, I need to release this. I need to let go of this. I need to maybe not fully heal from this, but I need to step into this new beginning here with the fool and um, almost like open up the door to this new beginning. Create this key to this new beginning because it's here right now in the present moment. So I see you doing that. Or if it's a person that's in your life in the future, you know, I see you like feeling that way and then people around you feeling angry at this person for maybe like how they're treating you. Um, and then I see you setting a boundary or calling them out with the Queen of Swords, letting them go in some way. And then I see you, you know, speaking your truth, becoming more aware of how you feel, healing from it, learning to trust again, making that decision to let them go, healing from it, opening up your heart again to new relationships and not staying um, in those emotions or in that cycle of stuckness, like any bitterness, any resentment, any pain, any heartbreak, you're releasing it from your heart completely and opening up your heart again, opening up um, the well to deeper, beautiful, more, um, I keep getting tongue-tied, I find it hard to give messages like these, okay, with the well, it's like you're finding this deep well of more positive emotions after this healing takes place, after this alchemization process takes place, you're finding, you know, the well to more heartier emotions, more happier emotions here with the Fool, the Four of Wands, the Sun. So I see you finding happiness again after the struggle. I see you finding happiness and joy again after feeling stuck. I see you opening up your heart again. I see you learning to trust again. I see you learning to become vulnerable with others again. Um, you know, get to know people again. Whether this is a friendship, romantic, family, I don't know what it is, but I, I just see the storyline here, okay? And then I really see you stepping into this place of your own personal power, as we saw with the dragon. And I see you stepping into this place where there's no longer rain, but the sun has come out, okay? And there's a celebration here with the Four of Wands, and you're stepping into your personal power. You know your worth now with the solar plexus chakra, and you're not, you're not settling for less than you deserve in your relationships. This is how people are viewing you in the future. You're totally trusting your intuition when it comes to people, trusting what you feel when it comes to people because our emotions are a guiding point and people are viewing you as someone completely outspoken where you know your worth, where if someone crosses a boundary, you're going to speak up for yourself, where if someone makes you feel a certain way, you're going to speak up for yourself and say, hey, when you said or did this, it made me feel like this, can you please not do it again? And you're going to stick by what you say you're going to stick by that internal truth. I see people still looking at you as this angelic person with the temperance here, as the star that shines brightly, as such a uh, sweet, loving, hearty person that has so much happiness and joy to share with others, that has, um, that is very fun to be around, that uh, has a big heart is what I'm getting from your energy, but it's like you're no longer tolerating disrespect. You're no longer tolerating connections around you that aren't good for you mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Do you get what I mean? So this is how people are seeing you in the future where you've completely evolved, you've completely expanded, you've gone outside of your comfort zone. This is not, this is not easy for you to reach in the future, or at least this is how people are viewing it. 
but you were strong enough to do it and you found your personal power. And I see people in the future viewing you as someone that is truly stepping into this evolved version of self, um, this new and improved version of self that is much more stronger, that is much more growth. I, I don't know what to say there grown a lot, you've grown a lot, people have seen you as someone that's grown a lot in the future, and someone that's almost become this version of self that you were always meant to be, where you have more beautiful connections around you that truly match up to what you deserve, that truly make you happy. Four of Wands here is like that union as well. So I see you coming into union with People that are truly meant to be in your life. People that truly appreciate you. People that add to your happiness, not take away from that. So we see a new beginning here in the end. A new happy beginning here. A happy ending to this kind of storyline, okay? So this is what I see in your reading. This is how people are going to view you in the future. I really hope this reading resonated Um if it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there, my pound number threes. If you chose this red jasper crystal and the tarot of the divine, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how people will view you in the future. So keep in mind, this is people's perception of you in the future this doesn't necessarily mean you are going to be like this or that your life is going to look like this in the future because people's perception of us can be skewed so take everything said with a grain of salt okay so I also want to say I pre-shuffled these cards but please don't be intimidated by the cards that we have I will explain the kind of storyline here. I do see a release of this negative energy. So let me tell you what cards we have here and then I'll explain what I see here. So I see a very intricate story. So the first two oracle cards we have is Opal with North Node and Expansion, Super 7, Alresha Star and Direction. Then we have the World card, the Three of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Devil, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups, Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, Strength, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I'm noticing here we have 777 in your reading, so that's significant here, and we have 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, so that could be significant here. So I'm hearing the word empowerment for you, Pile 3. This is how people are going to view you in the future. Let me explain the intricate storyline I see here. So I see something changing here for you in the future, Pile 3. I don't necessarily see any of these quote-unquote negative cards happening to you in the future, but I see a release of it. The reason I say so is we start off with the world card, okay? The world card is all about release. Release of a cycle. So that's what we're seeing here and we end off with the Wheel of Fortune, indicating something big changing within your future. Or at least this is how people are perceiving you and your life. What is being released here? We also have the Eight of Cups, which means you're walking away and letting go of something you have held onto with the Four of Pentacles. So I don't necessarily see any of these quote-unquote negative cards happening to you in the future, but you releasing what you have held onto now and in the past. So I see you know, people viewing you in the future where in the past, which may be like um, things that have already happened, you maybe went through heartbreaking connections. You maybe went through connections where there was deceit, where there was betrayal with the seven of swords, the devil, you know, um, I just heard mahog mahogany. I don't know if that's someone's name or what that's about, but random thing. Okay, uh, I feel like you went through certain relationships that were not so great in your life um, and 
these people could have been quite manipulative, controlling, and this very toxic, negative energy. They maybe lied to you, betrayed you, betrayed your trust, weren't the best to you, weren't the healthiest for you, create a lot of anxiety, a lot of heartbreak, um, a lot of this feeling of stuckness within your uh, connections. And I feel this has to do with the inner child, but also because I do have extra cards here on the side that I'm going to add in a minute, but I just want to explain the storyline here. I do feel like it has something to do with the inner child, things you've gone through in childhood up until, you know, now, things that have been heartbreaking in your relationships. So I see the storyline of people viewing you where you've gone through that in the past, but in the future, you are ready to release this. You are ready to let go of this. You're ready to completely heal from this and completely release it, burn that energy away with the seven of pentacles, work on yourself, work through that, build your inner strength and completely let go of different circumstances you were holding on to emotionally, let go of it, walk away from it, end that cycle. So that's what I see here happening. It's like a, it's a huge choice you make. Like, I'm not going to hold on to this past energy anymore. It's only holding me back. It's only keeping me stuck. It's only keeping me in this anxious mode where I can't trust people. I can't open up. You know, I don't want to hold on to this negative energy of what has happened to me in the past. My past doesn't determine my future. And I see you being in that mindset of completely releasing it, letting go, building strength, um, working on yourself. So let me add the extra cards we have and then explain more in detail of what I see here. So I see people viewing you as if you have released all of that, as if you have healed from all of that and you've gained strength and now you're ready to change, you're ready to move forward, you're ready to go and you're ready to go into life with this kind of new beginning with this uh, almost like alchemized state where you're choosing a different direction, where you're no longer staying stuck in the past. Okay, so we spoke about empowerment. This next set of cards truly shows what's happening in your life and who you're becoming. Or maybe not who you're becoming, but how like people are going to view you in the future. Okay, we have the Three of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Sun, the Knight of Wands, the High Priestess, the Magician, the Nine of Coins, the Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Queen of Cups, Justice, Four of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Queen of Wands, the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so as soon as I tapped into the energy of your reading in the beginning, I heard the word picture perfect. I didn't understand what this meant until I looked at these next set of cards here. Okay, so I see an energy here of your life changing so much. We mentioned something about your life changing with the Wheel of Fortune in the previous spread. From this decision you made to let go, to heal, to look within. And I see you completely letting go of that stuck cycle of the past and stepping into a new energy here where you're able to climb the ladder to your future, to notice how North Node expansion is right under the Three of Wands. And that was one of the first cards in this um, next spread of cards. So it's something like you're moving forward, you're moving to where you want to be in the future, in the future, if that makes sense. The North Node is all about our destiny, um, who we're supposed to become in this lifetime, what we're supposed to have in this lifetime, like that energy we're supposed to embody in this lifetime, our destiny, our fate. And the Wheel of Fortune came out as well. So I see something changing within your fate. 
going from misfortune to fortunate, going from unlucky to extremely lucky with the 777 we saw. So there's a change in your luck, there's a change in the events happening in your life, there's a change in the way that you feel, there's a change in you and who you are as a person, and there's a change in your relationships. Okay, so this is how people are viewing your life um, from the outside. Like, everything has changed with the Seven of Cups as well in that previous spread. Like, different aspects of life have changed completely. Where you went from confused, stuck, heartbroken, hopeless, you know, not knowing what to do next, to seeing things in a different perspective, healing, being able to trust and open up your heart again, you know, being able to move forward, being very happy, having this deep internal knowing when it comes to your relationships and trusting your intuition. This is how people are viewing you in the future, where you completely trust your in intuition when it comes to people, you know, um, your deep intuitive knowing, but also your feelings. You're allowing your feelings to show you who is good for you and who's not. And it's not to say they're bad people if, th if they make you feel a certain way, but maybe you're speaking your truth more here with justice. Uh, you know, telling people more about how you feel, being more vulnerable with people where if they're continuously making you feel a certain way, they have no place within your life because I see you being very focused on the feelings in the future, or at least this is how people are viewing you. Um, so something about feelings is becoming a lot more happier with the sun card, especially. There's something about people viewing you as going from feeling heartbroken, lost, confused, lonely, disappointed, betrayed, to feeling extremely happy, feeling extremely in love with the people around you, feeling extremely in love with life itself, feeling like life is a celebration, feeling empowered, feeling lucky, all these beautiful things. So there's this complete change in the way people are viewing you in the future. People are also viewing you as very healthy is what I'm hearing from Spirit, where you have health, wealth with the King of Pentacles, and you have beautiful relationships that truly are blossoming in your life, that truly are very compassionate towards you. These connections are very empathetic towards you. They're nurturing towards you. They're really, you know, committing to you. They're really giving you that, that type of love that is true, that is genuine. I see these people in your future, you know, in your relationships around you being extremely honest. I see them being extremely committed to you and devoted to you. This could be friendships, a romantic connection. This could be like things in the future. Okay, four of wands could even represent, you know, like a future marriage or a future union in some way, a future celebration in some way. Okay. And I see you just kind of like having this momentum where things are moving forward in the best possible way, where you look extremely lucky. Your life almost goes from what we spoke about before to looking picture perfect, where everything is expanded, you've expanded, you've grown in the future. And people are viewing you in the sense of you've moved forward, you're ready to move towards happier moments, ready to let go of whatever happened in the past, you know, feeling ambitious to follow your dreams, to follow your desires. Um, I see people viewing you as very intuitive uh, and not afraid to show that to the world. I see people viewing you as a master manifester with a magician and the Knight of Pentacles, having this extreme change within your wealth and within your career. I see people also viewing you as extremely power empowered confidence within yourself, um, very happy emotionally, feeling great emotionally. You know, just there's a complete different perspective of you in the future. 
okay? So this is what I see in your reading. This was a very beautiful reading. I think in the future, it's like people are seeing you as you've truly become the version of yourself you always were meant to become. And there's there's nothing more beautiful than that. So I think there's a lot of happiness being shown here in the way that people are viewing you in the future. A lot of celebrations. So this was your reading pile three. I really hope this reading resonated with you. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!